Hi there. It's April the 21st and today we're in the book of Joshua, coming towards the end of the book and we're in Joshua's chapter 22 and 23. Finishing off the chapter 22, uh, we remember that we left yesterday the tribes that live west of the Jordan chasing the tribes east of the Jordan because they'd built an unauthorized altar to the Lord on the banks of the Jordan. And this was not allowed because Shiloh was the place where they were supposed to come and worship. But the tribes of Reuben Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh say, no, the reason we built this is not to make sacrifices to the Lord, but because we are worried that our future generations will see the Jordan as a barrier, as a border between us, and perhaps that either side will say, well, we have nothing to do with each other, where in fact they're connected and they are related. And so when the other tribes hear this, they're satisfied and they say, well, we're glad that you're building it for that reason and not to transgress the sacrifices. And it's good because it will keep us together. Then in chapter 23, Joshua is coming to the end of his life. He's old and he gives a final address to the people, reminding them that they bound themselves to a covenant, reminding them to keep the ways of the, uh, of the, the law of Moses that he's brought and that if they stray from that, God will take away from them the, the land, because the land is tied to the covenant. And we also have him repeat again the fact that nothing of all the good things that God has promised have failed, and that God has brought them into this good land. It's great to know that God is faithful to his promises, and to see Joshua coming to the end of his full life totally reliant on God. Have a very good April the 21st.